All right, so we are back, and I gotta be honest, my mood is a little down because I was excited before I started this video, like right before I started. I was pumped to give you guys a brand new breakdown, something you've never seen on my channel because let's be honest, you guys see me as the YouTube boxing, MMA, pro boxing, savant, expert, breakdown master, handsome, tall, has a big, okay. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. But what I mean is, that's what you guys know me. But what you don't know is, I'm a massive pro wrestling fan. I have been since I was a kid, and I was going to break down Logan Paul versus Roman Reigns at WWE Crown Jewel. It was the main event of the show. Logan is in his third match ever, and he's main eventing for their world championships. And no, pro wrestling is not a, a real sport, right? It's not boxing. It's not MMA. It's not... Any world-renowned sport, it's entertainment, we know this, but for Logan to come into the company, do that in his third match, and by the way, it was a good fucking match, Logan Paul is a really good pro wrestler, that was what this video was gonna be, I was gonna tell you all about the match, and I'll still get into it, so hold on, and everything went really, really well, everything did, it looked great until, well, until after the match, then the real news hit, kids, cover your ears, because you're not gonna wanna hear it, Logan Paul is injured, badly, He's not going to be wrestling, but more importantly, for our reasons, fighting anytime soon. You can kiss January Misfits 4 goodbye for Logan Paul. And here's why. The breakdown, let's go. Logan Paul's injured. What happened? Well, he was, like I said, wrestling in the WWE's main event tonight. And, and quite frankly, like I said, he, he put on a pretty damn good match. For a guy that was in his third match, to be able to not only keep up, but to do the things he was doing. Some of the moves that you see from Logan in this match, he was doing frog splashes, cross bodies, and for people that aren't pro wrestling fans, just bear with me, he was jumping off the ropes, he was throwing clotheslines, he was doing kicks, he was getting a ton of air, showing athleticism, all the things that we know Logan is, but in that setting, it's pretty shocking to see how good he is this quickly. But anyway, the match was kind of set up like this, Logan's one lucky chance to beat Roman Reigns, right, playing off the Logan and Floyd fight, how he's this guy that's taken on impossible challenges and whether you think he can do it or not, there's always that one chance. And it's, to be honest, it's a pretty good storyline. Fair play. Like, you give him one lucky punch, Kenny landed on the legend. He finally lands the big lucky punch, and Roman's staggering, and he falls out of the ring. And Logan, and again, this was genius on the wrestling and, and entertainment and just to be able to think of doing this. Logan had his boys, Old Man Mike and George Janko, ringside and the cameras and stuff for his, his own filming purposes, of course, because content is king. But he goes over to George, grabs his phone, puts Roman Reigns on the announce desk, and if you guys have seen Logan in the WWE, you kind of know what's coming next. Logan walks up to the top rope, gets on top of it, with the phone recording him, jumps off fucking frog splash through the table while filming it on a selfie and this is what it looked like Saudi this is what you wanted you're going viral Roman <laughs> as you can see the man's a fucking trapeze artist and he like we'll find out in a second left nothing out there but before we get to that I have to acknowledge not just Roman Reigns, we the ones. But I have to acknowledge what happened next in this match because it's typical pro wrestling and Logan is, is now knocked Roman down. He's down. There was a big move. But Roman has two cousins called the Usos. They wrestle, again, this is pro wrestling, just bear with me. I, they come out because they're going to cheat and do the things they do to try to get the bad guy Roman Reigns to win over the young rookie. But instead of going after Logan, they go after <laughs> Mike Malak and George. They pull him over the guardrail. And I will say this. Well, I didn't think that was going to happen. George Janko can actually sell. He took the kick to the face and it looked like it fucking killed him. But Geriatric Mike, on the other hand, cannot. I don't know why they rolled his old ass into the middle of the ring, but he gets in there and <laughs> he takes a kick to the face and falls down like a bag of fucking mashed potatoes. I've never seen a worse sell <laughs> in my life. Then when they get thrown down, Cue the music, Jake Paul walks in, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I was curious about this. I was curious to see how good Jake could be as a pro wrestler. But he sashays down to the ring, even though his brother's laying there. You maybe want to speed it up a bit. But anyway, he comes down, and he gets in the ring. And there's a little bit of an awkward kind of standoff, like, what's up? What, what are we going to do? 
And then Jake throws one of the worst worked punches. And if you don't know what a worked punch is, it's a fake one. He throws one of the worst fake punches I've ever seen in my life. So if anyone ever wants to ask if Jake Paul's fights are fixed again, just take a look at this clip and then take a look at his real fights. That is the best evidence I will ever give you. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Let's get to the big news. After the match, Logan puts in a hell of a performance, but then he hits us with this message on Instagram. It's light. All I did was tear my ACL, MCL, and potentially my meniscus. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's yeah, like we're week. fine. We're, we we, we match. Maybe, maybe eight days. <laughs> so what does this mean for YouTube boxing? Like, I know Logan is a massive part of the scene, and this could be potentially devastating for the scene because you're talking about a guy that just tore his ACL, MCL, and possibly his meniscus. That's by themselves, an ACL and MCL tear usually are a six to nine month recovery. When you're talking about them combined with a meniscus, this guy basically blew his entire knee out. So that's nine to 12 months, possibly more, and... You gotta think about what does Logan really wanna do here? Like, with that kind of devastating injury, does he even wanna box anymore? Is it even something that he thinks is necessary? He's got more money than God. That's the part that really we're not talking about. Is this even beneficial for Logan moving forward? The only thing he was really getting out of it anyway was the fact that he likes boxing and maybe he was gonna go fight an Andrew Tate or, or someone else that he fucking hates. But you have to look at it from Logan's perspective does YouTube boxing even make sense for him anymore? Because if not, we're probably not going to see him again. And that's a harsh reality for some of us, but we have to be honest about this. The guy just completely shattered his whole knee. It's his power leg, and even though he doesn't really throw the big punches, I know they're there. So moving forward, we might have to look at a YouTube boxing scene without Logan Paul, which is a gift and a curse because... Yes, he's a massive name for us, but it opens up an opportunity for someone else, maybe not to take his place, but to fill that void and possibly use it to catapult their own career. I'm talking about guys like Slim, Salt Poppy, Gib, King Kenny, all of those guys now potentially could fight on Misfits number four. And while no, none of them are Logan Paul, but using that co-main event slot that now looks like it's gonna be open could catapult someone. And as a community, we might have to get used to the fact, and it's a hard pill to swallow, that Logan Paul may never box again. But there you have it. This isn't official that Logan's out of Misfits number four, but I can guarantee you he's not gonna be fighting with that injury. So they'll probably announce it before this video goes up but logan is 100 percent out of his boxing match if he tore his acl his mcl and his meniscus the man would have to have a prosthetic leg or be jesus christ himself to box in 10 weeks it sucks but it is what it is fair play to logan it was a great match for him but the question like i said remains who takes that new co-main event slot and bigger question really logan ever box again i don't have those answers but next six to nine months to a year Guess we'll find out.